Hi, my beautiful, beautiful friends. So today is going to be dedicated to story time. And I want to talk to you about uh, what it was like to choke and then have to have the Heimlich done because it's a very, very scary <laughs> situation. And I'm sure people are wondering what it's like if you've never had to go through it. Maybe you've gone through it and you were either the person giving the Heimlich or you were the person who was choking like I was. Um, and so we're just gonna start off with, you know, when I was living and like moderately staying with one of my good friends back in the Pacific Northwest, I ended up, you know, stopping by the house and this is like right before I was staying for a little while and I ended up being starving, you guys. Like I would go out and this is when I was like homeless. I did, like this place was my home because, you know, I didn't really have a home and it was my only safe spot and it was the only place I had family or well, what was like family. And I ended up going there after like a bench because I was a homeless teen drug addict <laughs> who got thrown out onto the streets because my even my family didn't even have a house because they lost it to foreclosure. But anyways, regroup, recoup. <laughs> So I ended up stopping by my, more just gonna say my, my um, home at the time, right? And I went there and I was just like starving. I hadn't eaten in a week, like two weeks straight, like that much. I was maybe eating like top ramen, like once in like the entire week. I was just not doing good. I was not taking care of myself, and. I got to this house and I was starving and I was like, okay, <laughs> I really need to eat something because I'm starving. And we ended up getting those rotisserie chickens that like you get when you are really, really hungry. You want some juiciness, you want some fat, like you want some seasoning, you want this, like, you know what I'm saying? So we ended up getting a rotisserie chicken and bringing it back. And when I saw it, my eyes were like, oh my God, I need this, right? And we even had ranch, right? Okay, I'm a ranch whore. Like, I'm just gonna come out and say it. I have an addiction to ranch now, and always have, but we got it, and I started eating, and I was the only one in the kitchen eating, like, shoving my face, like, while standing up, like, just shoving my face full, like, I was so hungry, and, like, I don't know if you guys have gone, like, a really long time without eating, but when you end up eating, and this is, like, before your body is, like, I can't eat anything, but when you're, like, starving and you can still eat, like you end up just like having a taste of this food and it's just the best food that you've ever had. It doesn't matter what it is. It could be like a piece of broccoli, but it's the best piece of broccoli in the entire world because you haven't ate in so long. So it's like, oh my gosh, you know, like your entire body feels like with gratitude because of the flavor and it's just very intense. Well, I was like going through this like super intense feeling of, oh my gosh, wow, this is like the best chicken I've ever had, like wow, a ranch, blah, blah, blah. you know, and I was in the kitchen all by myself, standing up, eating, and I ended up taking too big of a bite, and I swallowed, and I got stuck. <laughs> I was like standing in the kitchen all by myself, like trying not to die on this chicken, and I walked out of the house like kitchen into like the pool like um like the pool table area with the little tiki bar and i like went out to my friend and i was like i'm choking like i'm dying <laughs> like i couldn't even talk i was like like this like trying to find my friend and my friend was like all the way down in the, the master bedroom like walking through the house and like the inner part of the house is all glass windows and so like my friend could see me in the kitchen which was like all the way across the house like at a diagonal through the windows and he was like a little bit confused because he didn't understand what i was doing and i'm like sitting there like trying to find someone like this walking around the house and his mom ended up coming in the front door and like walking up the stairway right next to like where the indoor pond was and she looked over and I was like walking towards her like going like this still and she's like 
oh my gosh, are you joking? Like, she was very concerned. And I was like, <laughs> you know, and by this time, like, my friend had gotten there and, like, the the blood rushed to my head and I was so hot. And I was, like, just, like, oh my gosh, everything was so intense. And, I could, like, it's very weird to be alive and to, like, feel like you're about to die. Like, and to basically be dying. Like, you're alive, you're awake, and you're dying. Like, mm, oh, this is cool. And... You know, my friend saw me and he ended up like running up to me. He was like, are you choking? And I was like, you know, <laughs> like trying just to be like save my life. And he's like, okay, I'm going to do the Heimlich on you. Is it okay if I do the Heimlich on you? And I was like, dude, just fuck, like, you know, do it. And so he ended up doing it. And like the Heimlich is very weird because like when you're choking, you can't breathe. So you can't. You can't really like your your senses are very odd during this whole ex like choking experience like they get very in in like heightened they get like very intense I, it's very difficult to explain and you're very in touch with all of your senses except for the fact that you can't breathe and what he was doing the heimlich on me i couldn't really like you could feel the Heimlich being done because it's very intense like it's a very intense thing like you feel like the air being like poof, 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 and everything else but like I couldn't actually feel like it didn't hurt when he was doing it to me because I was dying on chicken <laughs> but then it ended up like coming in and just like it came out finally I'm very lucky it came out and I felt all of this heat rush out of my head and the chicken fell to the ground. It was a weird thing. It just went plop. And that was it. So it was just very awkward. And they're like, after they saved my life, they're like, you need to have a drink of water. I was like, yeah. And I was traumatized. I didn't want to be at the house. So I ended up leaving like almost right away because I was like, oh my God. I just like choked and almost died in front of people. And yeah, now what? You know? But, um,. No, it, like I, I wanted to share that that story with you guys because I've been having some like desires to, you know, stop by the house because I have connections in the house. I used to live in the house for a little while. Like the people that were in the house, you know, I had a very strong connection with, and they were just like really really good friends of mine and their family to me for a very long time. And, you know, I don't know, it's just like, I ended up thinking about this situation because I got like this thought in my head that just told me that I needed to reach out to my friend who lived there just to make sure like they were okay. And I did and they were fine, but like, I don't know why I just have like this very strong connection with it. And I feel like it's like almost like the, the Orbis. So it's basically the snake eating itself because I'm like, I used to go there all the time and I haven't gone there in four or five years and it just feels very weird. It's just very weird. Um, it's like never going to a place where you, you know, grew up and never seeing it again. It's just very odd. You know how some people have lived in one place their entire life? Like imagine living in one place your entire life but then moving from it and then never going back to see it. Like I feel like I need to go back and see it. But I don't know. I don't feel like dying because of a pandemic. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I wanted to tell you guys that story because, you know, it's a very weird experience. And I realize that a lot of people haven't gone through it. And some people might be like a little bit curious to it. And it's just like very weird. It's very, very, very weird. I've almost died several times. And that was probably the weirdest time out of them all was basically almost dying because of chicken <laughs> and i have such bad anxiety when i eat chicken especially especially like rotisserie chicken now because when i was eating it right it was like the best thing in the world and i like if i would have died right then and there like that would have been an okay thing with me because it was the best chicken in the world but i'm glad i did it because now i'm here but i'm just like oh my gosh i just miss I miss everything, you guys. Oh, goodness. But I hope you got some humor or maybe uh, 
experience or some education or anything but you know i strongly advise people all the time if you are afraid of choking you should go and learn how to do the heimlich and cpr and actually go and get certified and continue to get certified and continue to get training because it will literally save someone's life one day and it's just a great thing to know and after that experience i went and i got certified for cpr and it was just you know now i feel a little bit more confident and i should probably even also go and get recertified but you know um as someone who has choked i am forever grateful to the person and to my friend who saved my life when i was choking and yeah so i will talk to you guys on saturday about the real estate talk show if you guys have any like questions comments or anything you know definitely feel free to message me i always respond back and also please subscribe to my youtube because i only have a few s subscribers and i am like a loser on youtube right now i don't want to be a loser on youtube right now you guys no i'm just kidding but okay I will talk to you guys on Saturday and speak to you soon, okay? All right, bye!